what's going on guys welcome back to the channel for another video and today i'm here in portland oregon it is a beautiful day it's blue skies sun is out it's 50 degrees kind of chilly but at least it's a beautiful beautiful day and uh, right now i'm at pioneer square which is a uh, has a couple of food carts here there's some in the back and behind me right there there's some over here and right in front of me they are starting to put up the christmas tree here in downtown portland and then over here they have a starbucks over there starbucks coffee started to have like the little lights over there and then yeah I, I can't wait till they let they finish this christmas tree and put the lights up and everything man it's been a while since we've been down here and uh seeing the christmas decorations in portland so that'll be a really nice uh thing to see this year but yeah just gonna chill here for a little bit then start making my way down to the waterfront which is a couple blocks that way so i'll be showing you guys the waterfront taking a guy uh taking a walk through over there and uh yeah show you guys around so hope you guys are doing great and come along with me in this video I am making my way down to the waterfront now guys so I'm just walking down the streets of Portland and I don't think I've ever done this actually I don't think my wife and I have ever done like walking down the streets of Portland so it's actually pretty cool but I'll show you guys a little bit perfect timing there's the Columbia store right there we're gonna be heading uh, that way I believe to the waterfront I actually got to check my maps so I don't want to go the wrong way buildings everywhere of course like every downtown look at that clock over there it's nice uh, so let me just check and make sure I'm going the right way. Look at this Portland sign. I think it's like a theater. It says James Ends Place Mozart, November 20 to 22nd. One thing that I'm noticing is it is pretty empty today, like here in downtown Portland, which is good, which is good for me because I'm not I'm not a crowd person. So if it was fully packed like it usually is, I don't know. <laughs> I'll be all nervous to to film. Ooh, the United States courthouse. Look at this. Wow, that's the best thing that I like about downtown cities is like all the buildings, especially at nighttime, you know? So it's supposed to get dark around 4.30 today. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be here this late. It's about, about to be three o'clock today. Maybe I will be still here. Um, but it's just beautiful at night with all the lights and stuff, especially during Christmas. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I just haven't done it. I don't know why. But now, like, today I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go and do it. And especially in the, the weather, actually, <laughs> you know, wasn't my favorite because it's really nice out today. All right, guys, so I am actually 17 minutes away from the waterfront i didn't know it was that far i think i was going the opposite direction oh boy but i'm gonna be enjoying all the buildings enjoying all this architecture in downtown portland and i'm gonna be definitely enjoying it being pretty empty today so i'm gonna go check out what this is right here it looks like a little park or something i don't know and over here it's nothing but then you guys can see and if you guys know there's a big homeless problem here in downtown Portland and you guys can start seeing the tents over there and stuff. There's just so many homeless people here in downtown. So they're like everywhere. It's kind of sad to see, you know? This used to be, they had like a fountain here. You guys right there, but it's like right now it's gated and probably like they took it down. And in the summer, like a bunch of kids would be playing in the water and stuff. But I guess that is not here no more. Oh man, there used to be a McDonald's right there. But now it's gone and it's boarded up. Interesting. Okay, we have made it here to the waterfront, guys. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see the mountain over there. That looks beautiful. There is something about bridges and water that make things look so beautiful. I don't know why. One day we gotta come down here guys and rent some like electric scooters or electric bikes. I think that would be really cool to like, you know, ride them along the waterfront here. sometimes and there's been this guy that has been walking alongside me uh, for like five minutes now he's just I don't know he's just uh, on something <laughs> Man, this 
gorgeous. Ah, what a beautiful day too, guys. What a beautiful day too. Like it's the perfect day to be out here. I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't been posting as much as I usually do in the last couple of weeks. Um, ever since we came back from the trip, I haven't really been posting. I probably posted like two more videos after the trip, and that's about it. And I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna be transparent here, like I always try to be. And that has a lot to do, guys, with me being in a rut. I got in a rut in life. I've been kind of feeling lost. I've been feeling unmotivated. And it's been kind of hard in life, you know? Nothing major is happening. I think it's just like, I started to lose the motivation to vlog or I felt like I wasn't doing a good enough job or there was not much going on in my life to make a vlog interesting. And then also, it's been raining for the last couple of weeks here in Oregon, so I think that makes it hard for, to vlog as well. But yeah, I just got into this rut where I just didn't want, even want to pick up the camera sometimes, you know? And it was odd because this is something that I love to do. I love to go out, I love to film, I love to capture, I love to share with you guys. And I just started feeling really stuck. Yeah, that's that's exactly what's been going on. I've been having like this battlefield in my brain like of not being good enough or feeling trapped in life. And I don't know if I'm cut out for this vlogging thing sometimes, you know? That's one of the main reasons why I ended up coming over here to downtown Portland to kind of unlock that creative side of me again because it's been kind of shut down for the last couple of weeks. You know, being here, kind of refreshing spending alone time um it's kind of helping me out you know with getting back in the rhythm of things that's another thing that i struggle with too is sometimes i feel like if i don't vlog something extremely fun like for example our newport oregon vlogs those were like on a vacation and we we're doing a bunch of different stuff and going to these places if i don't, if sometimes i feel like if i don't do that that people won't even care about my channel. They won't, even, they, won't, they won't even care about it. So sometimes I do question like, should I even be doing this? Because my life is sometimes ordinary. For the most part, it's routine and ordinary, you know? But anyways, that's the reason guys why I kind of haven't been posting much, but I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to find ways to go out and explore more. But I do wish that my wife was here because, you know, lately my wife has been like creating more. She's been on TikTok filming like nature and stuff like that. So whenever we go out now, she tries to film and stuff. So it's like almost now I have like a partner to kind of be creative with, you know? So I do miss her. I do wish that she was here, um, but we'll come back here and uh, I'll come back with her and uh, yeah, we'll see you around. But gonna go out and maybe go look at some food because I'm getting a little bit hungry. Oh man, so Google Maps is actually saying that walking is gonna take me 17 minutes. The same amount of time that it took me to get <laughs> <laughs> here to the waterfront. Oh boy, it's gonna be a walk. So I didn't even know that you were able to walk on a bridge <laughs> until right now. So I decided to come up here, show you guys a little bit of the bridge. I must say though, this is low key scary because what, what in the world? That sounded like gunshots. But I was saying it's low key scary because when the cars pass by right here, this like starts shaking. And yeah, I'm standing on top of a bridge so. Let's start making our way back that way and then eventually get into the food car to get some food.
so there's a couple of food carts here but like you guys see these two are closed that one's open but then these are closed these are closed there's one open all the way to the at the end over there which i'm hoping is the one i want which is a mexican food truck because i'm craving a burrito so man but here's a mexican food truck it's also closed ah this place also look good korean twist but it's also closed i don't get it <laughs> you know it's not even uh five o'clock yet and i don't even know if they were open today but it just sucks that none like not a lot of stuff is open you know i'm gonna go look at the other uh lunch truck or the food truck and see if they have something that i might want i think it'll be ashamed if i eat something like uh if I eat something like Chipotle or something <laughs> when I'm in downtown Portland because downtown Portland is known for food different kinds of food you know alright so I found another one that's about 9 minutes away from here it's a Mexican spot so I'm gonna go try this one out and it's a 9 minute walk You guys see here, they're starting to put uh, decorations on the trees and stuff. You guys can see some snowflakes right there, lights on the trees. It's gonna look really nice. Like I wish I did it to every single tree. Right now it's just this side, which is right where the tree is, is gonna be. So we're kind of made full circle. We came back this way. Now the, the other place that I'm trying to go eat is somewhere over here. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna go there anymore. Yeah, so we made it back to where we started, <laughs> where the tree is. Now, the other Mexican spot that I was uh, going to try is about 10 minute walk from here. So, and then the train that picks me up to go back home is right here. So I'm just, I don't know at this point <laughs> if I should go over there or should I just hop on the train and go back home? Because it's everything, see, all the food trucks, even these right here, they all seem to be closed. I don't know if it's just because it's Sunday and they close early or they're just not open on Sundays. I don't know, but I can't wait till this tree is up with all the lights and stuff and definitely come and check it out. So what I think I'm gonna do guys, is just I'm probably gonna just head home, wait for my next, the next train that passes by here, hop on there and then head back home. Yeah, hunting down these uh, food trucks, they're all closed right now and it's about to be barely five. So it's a it's, uh, crazy, but so I'm gonna end the video here guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me here in downtown Portland. I hope you guys are all doing great. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.